Welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. If you are dealing with varicose veins, what you might not know is that that problem may run much deeper than you might think. Dr. Mountcastle is with me today from Mountcastle Vein Centers to run down what some of those problems can be and why you need to get them checked out as soon as possible. Hi, Dr. Mountcastle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning so let's start out with what causes a vein problem. Veins are, are really simple to understand. Uh, they're like upside down trees. There's a trunk and branches and twigs. Mm -hmm. And every so often there's a valve and it keeps the blood flowing upwards towards the heart and prevents it from falling backwards with gravity. If the valves have failed, then the branches of that tree dilate and become varicose veins. Okay. Mostly inside the leg, which is something most people don't realize. It's not necessarily the problem specifically with what you're seeing on the outside. Exactly. Um, a lot of people think that if they don't see varicose veins on the surface, they don't have a problem. And yet, probably the majority of our patients don't have varicose veins. Uh -huh. They have the pain and aching that result from those veins dilating inside. And the twigs of that upside down tree under pressure leak fluid and protein and blood cells all day. They cause swelling of the ankles, these terrible night cramps, Charlie horses that people have. Oh, yes. Yeah, the discolored uh, uh, scaling, burning, uh, dark skin uh, from all the blood cells and protein seeping out all day under pressure. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to fix. So how do you, what do you do within your office to check the valves? Uh, we do an ultrasound. It's a special ultrasound. It, uh, uh, it checks the valves while you're standing. Oh. It's a gravity issue after because all. Because that's the way you spend most of your time. Exactly. Right. And, and that's when people have most of their problems. And it tells us whether the blood's flowing backwards or not. The patient can see it, uh, see this themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, the patients see this. They, uh, and it's very clear cut. There's none of this doctor holding it up the light, right. saying, well, it's probably this or probably that. You can uh, point it out and they can recognize it themselves. There's no probably about it. You're pregnant or you aren't. You have blood flowing down your valves, veins or you don't. And we can tell you the results right after. Afterwards. So some of the symptoms then you mentioned, swollen ankles, the burning feelings, but varicose, varicose veins themselves can actually be a signal to you that you have another problem. They can, and the spider veins on the surface can be a signal. But nine out of 10 varicose veins are inside the leg. And for every spider vein and purple vein around the ankles, there are 10 veins inside leaking fluid all day and protein. So I, I know you've used the example before that it looks, it kind of is like an iceberg. What you're seeing is this tiny little bit of your veins there at the top, but really most of the action is happening down underneath. Underneath, exactly. It's just the tip of the iceberg, these varicosities and spider veins. So, okay, why or what, what kind of, um, I guess how, how grave is the situation if you're dealing with something like the ankle swelling or the burning or uh, anything like that, or you do have the varicose veins, how important is it that you get that checked quickly? It's important to do it. Uh, not necessarily quickly, but it is important to do it. When we look at terrible legs, we imagine, we try to imagine how they could have gotten that way. Mm -hmm. Well, it happens very slowly, day by day. People's legs are normal and, and eventually, over many years, they end up looking like their great-grandfather's legs. Mm -hmm. um, it's a progressive disease. No amount of elevation or weight loss or exercise or compression stockings will fix vein valves once they're broken. Mm -hmm. You simply close the vessel, the blood goes through alternative pathways, and the deterioration stops. But to stop that de deterioration, people need to act. They need to get a vein screening, get an ultrasound. They're simple procedures. Uh, the, our consultation is free. The ultrasounds are almost always paid for by insurance or Medicare. Mm -hmm. um, and people can know whether or not they have a condition uh, inside and, their legs. And then your treatment, because it, before, in, in the past, a lot of people have had to deal with having painful surgeries to fix the vein problems, but what they can do with you is actually pretty pain-free. It's very pain-free. None of our procedures hurt. We only do three. Mm -hmm. We do them perfectly. And, and how do they uh, work? Well, uh, we do an endovenous laser closure. Many people are kept from getting their veins fixed because they're frightened. They're frightened. They remember their mothers or their brothers vein stripping. Mm -hmm. Painful procedure. Three weeks on the couch recuperating. Now it's a 45-minute procedure. I just did one uh, uh, less than an hour ago. The and lady, now you're with us. The, the lady was, uh, was talking about going shopping this afternoon with her friend. Uh -huh. It's that easy. Whereas 
eight years ago, uh, she'd have been in a recovery room, uh, throwing up and uh, spending a night on a morphine drip and three weeks on the couch. And so people are afraid because of that. They think that they don't realize that it's changed dramatically. Right. Well, you can't deny the aesthetics, though, and we do have some before and afters because this is absolutely phenomenal what you're able to do uh, to really change people's lives by changing those uh, effects of the varicose veins, and this one is just incredible. That young man, we did one needle puncture below his knee, threaded the laser fiber into his uh, vein, uh, fired it over three minutes, put a Band-Aid on it, and told him to come back in three months. He lives in California and works for Marianne of Gilligan's Island. <laughs> And, uh, and when he came back in six months, you couldn't even find the needle hole, and all of his varicose veins just disappeared. And moving on to the next one. Again, this is a really dramatic change. This lady's 64. She had a varicose vein as big as my wrist. It really shrank uh, after the laser treatment, and then we did a simple phlebectomy through needle holes. We don't even have a scalpel in our office. This lady we probably shouldn't have treated. All of her friends are coming in and want legs like that at 68. <laughs> this woman is 68. No, she's not. 68 years old. Oh, you stop it, Dr. Malcolm. And, her, and her friends want legs like that next week, and some of them haven't walked very much. So we say, we'll start with the veins, and you'll feel better. You'll walk more. You'll get more muscle. This lady is, this is a, a fellow who used to uh, jog a whole lot, um, and now he's back jogging again because we, we fixed his painful veins. And really, that's kind of what it comes down to is, yes, we have these really dramatic results. Yes, they look better, but really, it's all about the way that you feel well, is. when you leave the office. This lady here, um, the, the last lady there on the picture, she's 84. And she had her veins fixed because her legs hurt and she mm -hmm. couldn't walk around her neighborhood. But she confided in me. She said, look, the men my age are just too old. I want to date those 60 and 70 year olds. So. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> her legs that? look great. You can see that's her after picture two months later. They look great. And uh, she's just <laughs> delighted. <laughs> Well, Dr. Mountcastle, thank you so much. And as always, uh, we have to remind everybody again that, like you said, free consultation. So all you have to do is call 727-865-6941 uh, for more information and to set up your consultation. Thank you, Dr. Mountcastle. Thank you. All right. Well, don't go away because Studio 10 will be right back after this.